Now that your girl's recording, let's go ahead. Let's start off this next reaction, shall we? Now, we reacted to Blank Boy as of, uh, like, last week or so. When the Avengers destroyed New York City to stop Loki. So without further ado, let's get into this damn video, y'all. Let's do it. No. So Loki pulls up to the party spawning in a fit and it got everybody running. Damn, I didn't think it was that bad. The police are coming after Loki, but he got them reevaluating their life's decisions becoming cops. These boys is upside down and they gotta go back home to their wives asking them why is Domino's texting you kissy faces. Loki that starts is, telling everybody you know to what? kneel before him, but nobody's listening. I've never seen a god with less street cred than him. He be saying all his credentials just to be disregarded and dropped off anyways. He gets frustrated and screams dumb loud to get them to finally listen to him and kneel down. I guess my boy is having a power trip because he's around mere mortals because back on Asgard, he's a walking KD booster. I am low. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That is a fact. When them, them niggas literally is just like on Asgard, they're like, boy, shut, shut, shut the fuck down somewhere, bro. Like, like, nobody gonna take you serious. You're not even a real villain like that. You're not even a real villain like that, boy. Sit down, you know? He don't get no type of credibility on there. It makes sense why he, he, was, he was, like, you know, power tripping at this point. It's like, gang, like, relax, bro. Like, everybody dressed up for an event. You just come in here and then talk about some meal. Like, what? If you don't sit down, Kratos ain't even give him credit. Stop. Loki, god of deception, trickery, and mischief. Son of Odin, part frost giant, prince of Asgard. Boy, I know your ass out of breath. Loki thought changing into his party city fit would have struck fear in all the hearts of the attendees, but Unk is standing on business. So Loki, being the reasonable man he is, decides the only appropriate response is to kill this man, but Captain America comes out of nowhere to save the day. And I want y'all to really hear me out, because Captain America is one of my favorite superheroes of all time, right? So it really hurts my heart to see him in this horrendous suit. Captain America 1 suit, tough. Age of Ultron suit, hard. Winter Soldier, fire. And my personal favorite, the Civil War suit, perfection. So how'd they miss so bad in this movie? They're not wrong. Okay, okay. You said, where did he come from? Right, like... How did Captain America just know when to be like, okay, listen, Captain, this is your cue. And just, just, just you know, like, how, how? That Dollar General ass suit. Now, I don't even think Dollar Generals have suits like this, gang. But this suit is kind of, like, this, this suit is kind of his weakest one. Now, now that you're bringing it to my attention, yeah, it's, it's not that. You got that joy from Party City. And they... Nigga got that suit from Spirits. <laughs> Movie. This looked like the parody suit the soldiers had him wear in the first Avengers so they could clown him. Nick oh, Fury set him is. up. Captain America just came out the ice. He handed it to him all some, yeah, bro. This what's hip nowadays. Trust. I can't let you hurt my friend Gerald, Loki. We used to beat up black people together back in the good old days. The soldier. Relax, a man out gang. of his time. Do you even know the exclusive album? Yeah, I do. Chris Purple snapped. This is when Black Widow pulls No. <laughs> Chris Purple did yo. Wow. Whoa. Purple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pulls up and luckily she didn't bring her big bag of two attacks, karate and pistols. Bitch saw Thanos pulling up with the Infinity Stones and thought Taekwondo might be the answer. She pulled up with that chopper instead. Loki tries to catch her off guard, but he misses. And now due to an attack chopper, a god, and Captain America, this whole function has been ruined. The party promoter came outside looking like, Who the fuck let all these niggas in my fucking party? Captain America hit You know, this is a crazy pause. This, oh God, this is a crazy pause. Imagine, imagine living in New York. Like, mind you, I'm from New York, but imagine living in New York City during something like this. You going out to an event and everything like that, and it's just like, well, oh, niggas wasn't even paying Loki no mind. It wasn't until when Captain America came through that's when the shit was dead. Like, well, so so much for this, you know, about this expensive ass dress. 
he looked like he gonna he finna get bodied and did, you know? Like, boy, that I I, I but I honestly, if it during a time like this within the Marvel universe, I would have moved out of New York. Oh, I would have been in upstate New York at this rate. I would have gladly stayed in Orange County because the way how it is, like so much destruction would come from like trying to end shit out. Like just literally within the name, the Avengers destroyed New York City to stop one nigga, bro. One, one nigga destroyed the whole shit. I'd be in Watertown. <laughs> That boy, that rent, that rent gotta be stupid high. It already is, but let alone like certain something like this, niggas gonna be paying at least five grand a month just on just regular shit. Not even on a like a skyline or anything like that. Insurance through the roof. I would hate to live here. Hits Loki with the shield and then a right. Loki starts looking at him like he just dirtied his G Fazos, getting blocked, hitting the shield away, and then knocking Captain America to the floor. Steve knows that Black Widow's up there looking, so he starts acting mad different, hitting them with a light-skinned stare. This is the same man that was hitting on his dead girlfriend's niece. He has no shame. Throw I forgot he did that. I forgot. That woman was so in love with Peggy. And, and just, uh, yeah. 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 Fudge. Throws his shield, but he loses it as he gets knocked away. Misses the you... right, weave, weave again, gut punch, but gets you. smacked away. This right here is a prime example of how without that OPI shield, the super soldier would have been a super fry cook instead. Or that serum. Just like what Iron Man said. Hey, listen, all of your powers got essence from a fucking bottle. Do you know how much of like... You know what I'm saying? Like the, the the like that was that was literally Captain America was a failed experiment, gone wrong. That's that's what it was. It, that that was a failed experiment, gang. That that nigga that made the whole shit be all fucked up, the machinery and everything like that. And that nigga was was, was swole, like he swole afterwards. It did it. The super serum did what it was supposed to do, but that wasn't an experiment that technically failed. So how old are you, Cap? Eighty seven. It, it worked. It, it did work, but only imagine Captain America would not be in the situation it is that he was in. If y'all seen the first movie, if y'all seen the first Captain America, the, like you know, he had the heart for it. He had the heart for it, but he just didn't have like the the juice. <laughs> I hate to say it like that. He didn't have the juice until it is he got juiced. Loki walks up to Cap and puts the staff right to his dome, but he does the villain cliche right before they're about to cross the finish line, deciding now is the time everyone needs to know their whole life story. But Cap ain't trying yeah, to hear this it. monologue. Shut your point, you man. Black Widow's unable to get a shot on Loki because they down there moving way too much as Loki throws his ass to the floor again. Yo, when I I hate when it's just like the, the other characters is just not doing shit. Listen, Black Widow, Natasha, you mean to tell me it is you was just watching this shit the whole time? Where the nigga put, Loki put the staff to Captain's head? You didn't think that was a perfect time to go ahead and just pew, you know? You just sat there and just not, just, when you was listening to the whole story? Was, did, did the lore, did the filler part of this, this movie intrigue you so much that you forgot to pull the damn, excuse me, the trigger? And this is where we get Come one on, of the best gang. entrances in MCU history. Iron Man comes through blasting Loki and hits his superhero landing. But I can't lie, I kind of feel bad because when Iron Man blasted him, bro fell right onto his back. Peter knows exactly how that feels. This would have been my last day as Spider-Man, I swear to God. Iron <laughs> oh, y'all are not shit. Oh, y'all not shit for this. Y'all not shit for this. <laughs> y'all are not shit for adding this part in, bro. Every <laughs> Spider-Man can't escape back pain. Yo, wow, wow, crazy straight. Peter knows exactly how that feels. This would have been my last day as Spider-Man, I swear to God. Iron Man ups it on Loki, forcing him to make his drip disappear and surrender. It's over. This man Loki could make anything appear in thin air except for a W. He is trash. You know I had it, right? Yeah, I could tell from all the dirt on the suit. 
So the Avengers put the cuffs on Loki and they sent him to prison on S.H.I.E.L.D.'s helicarrier. Where of course he manages to escape in the most Looney Tunes way possible. Loki said, I'm leaving here with some, stabbing Agent Coulson in the chest, making sure he never secures 30 seconds of screen time again. So at this point, the Avengers are all demotivated and depressed. So in order to get them to work together, Nick Fury whips out a deck of cards and tells them that this was in Agent Coulson's jacket when Loki murdered him. But bro was capping. Those cards were in Agent Coulson's locker. He took them out, put Kool-Aid powder on it, and got to gaslighting like, hey. Guess he never did get you to sign them. So the Avengers suit up and go out and So are we saying that that Nick is uh, is the villain here for gaslighting these niggas? <laughs> are we are we going to say it is that Nick is the the, the villain here for kind of gaslighting cuz I forgot about that. He did gaslight these niggas to do it. <laughs> Gold medalist instigator. That is insane. Fury is a top tier gaslighter. He didn't have to do that to Cap. Right. It, it's, it looked like with Cap, it didn't even take him that much to get, get influenced. You know, Fury, you ain't shit for that, bro. You're not shit for, like, going ahead and just <laughs> gaslighting these niggas. Boy, this, that nigga, Nick Fury, took a page out of Simba's book of gaslighting. It was just like, all right, hey, listen, watch what I do real quick. And decided to go ahead and do work. Now, hopefully Simba's not in the chat into New York City to conduct as much property damage as possible in the name of saving people. But while they were having a pity party, Loki managed to open up a portal letting his whole Shatari army through, and then goes to camp out at Stark Tower and it's his brother Thor who finds him first. The dynamic of these two is so toxic, their relationship gets explained a lot more in Thor 2, so all of the seven people who saw that film, y'all know. Loki, you're acting like a badass little kid, you're 40. On Asgard, I'm about to fade you. I'm not gonna lie, Thor's the, all of, besides Ragnarok, that was the only good Thor movie. Damn. Do what, brother? And I cooked Captain America for his look, so I have to do the same to you, Thor. The glow up was crazy. A beard and a haircut is really like makeup for men. Loki jumps at <laughs> Thor, blocking Moon there, and Thor goes for a duck. But who was Loki swinging on here? Yao Ming? Thor then deflects Loki's blast, their weapons collide, knocking the R and K off Stark Tower. Listen, I'm from New York City. I've survived master splinters around every corner, being a Knicks fan, and crackheads. So the possibility Damn. of dying to falling R. Kelly initials is sick work. Loki weaves and smashes his head into the glass, while Clint and Natasha are up top watching the fight, just like, Damn, Thor getting cooked. They decide to turn around <laughs> the jet to help, but as the- You, you see what I mean as to like- they be watching and not doing shit, bro. I'll take Thor 2 and 3 over the trash we got now. Just give me Ragnarok, bro. That's the only one. Like, you can explain the lore of how, you know what I'm saying, of all the other shit at another time, bro. Would you want them to do something at least, gang? They was just sitting there to fight literal aliens. I hey, hey, man, stay, man. They, they could have did something cameraman pans back we see loki got thor in a noogie he throws thor away and hawkeye clearly signed his max contract with the stormtroopers because he misses every shot as loki just snipes them out the air the jet starts spiraling out of control and the funny part is captain america is in the back seat they got my boy back there shaking like a bag of skittles Without a wing, they of course go crashing down, naturally hitting as many buildings in the process as possible, landing in some nice, soft concrete. Luckily, the Avengers are okay, thank God, because that would have only left Hulk, Thor, and Iron Man to defeat Loki and his entire army. It would have been over for us. The least intimidating supervillain of all time would have won. I'm sorry, I just can't take him serious. He'd be on top of the tower looking down at all of us, his prisoners, on some hear ye, hear ye. Thor tackles Loki and starts beating the day lights out of him. The shockwave from each punch is so OD that the cameraman can't even sit still, can't get the shot right. Thor being the good brother that he is, he of course doesn't want to actually kill Loki. Loki, stop this madness. You can't destroy New York City. Try a chopped cheese, it'll change your mind. Wait, you deadass? Chopped cheese really like that for real? Loki. For sure, for sure is. For sure is. You ever had a chopped cheese before? You know what I'm saying? Starts putting together an Oscar. Best chopped cheeses in Harlem, by the way. A worthy performance, making Thor Philly think he's better. had a change of heart. Stabbing Thor right in the gut with a thumbtack, looking at his big bro like... How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Loki catches him with this, I've changed, I want to be a good guy now, fake out at least once a week. 
Thor kicks him into the glass, picks him up, and slams him. Loki knows he's about to get spanked, so he just makes a business decision to skedaddle out of there on one of the Shatari scooters to go terrorize the rest of the city. So while Loki How the hell did he just know how to roll and just was gonna land on that? Boy. Skedaddle out of there on one of the Shatari scooters to go terrorize the rest of the city. So while Loki's on the loose causing straight mayhem, Captain America, Black Widow, and Hawkeye hop out their jet that crashed into this oh yeah we not seen tomorrow as scenery. Yeah, At this point I don't Grand even Central. know what's left to save, rocks and dust? So while everyone in New York City is running for their lives, the Avengers look up to see that the portal is moving like a thought, opening even wider to let the rest of the Shatari army through. Wow, and I can't yeah. be the only one who noticed this bro. Remember in Transformers Dark of the Moon, the Decepticon carrier? That shit looks exactly like the Shatari carrier in this movie, and they Gosh. function the same way. All I'm saying is the Avengers came out a year after Transformers Dark of the Moon. Phone. He copied my whole fucking flow! Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar! I never paid attention to that. I never paid attention. Wow, yeah. Yeah, wow. 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 Yeah, wow. Okay. So the Avengers are doing an elite job of just spectating while the Shatari army is being unleashed causing straight havoc. They're terrorizing the city murdering millions while the Avengers watch and then we see Loki coming through blowing up every and anything. But the thing is, isn't his plan to rule this place? At this rate, what is there gonna be left to rule? Rubble? He moving exactly yeah. like the androids in DBZ. They murdered everybody and just went around blowing up shit for fun. We pan back over true. to the Avengers and they're camping <laughs> while New York City is one fallen building away from being what Wally predicted. Damn, Loki's wallin'. Who should we call? Nigga, we're the Avengers. And it's Clint of all people who starts putting in pain first. So they devise a plan to split up. So while Black Widow is giving Cap cover fire, Cap jumps off onto the bus, running away from missiles being shot right at his heels into a front flip and manages to stick the landing perfectly. While Steve is auditioning for Ninja Warrior, Black Widow continues to shoot randomly at nothing and Hawkeye continues to be the one to carry the Avengers, helping these people escape from off the bus and look at Lil Bro's cut right here, he got a mohawk, that's how you know this shit was really filmed in 2012. Hawkeye then puts Damn. Little Bro down and goes over to help Natasha. Man, we could dead use somebody with like time powers or something to help us just go back and prevent all of this. Yeah, okay, good luck finding that. While they're holding off the Shatari army, we see Captain America turning on the jets to catch up to the police to get over there and give them orders, but they not trying to hear none of it. I can't blame them. A random man just jumped on my car in a Halloween costume and it's June. I saw niggas getting sturdy on 42nd Street, saved them, they was kinda hitting that hole. In Macy's west of 34th Street, I counted at least 9 bad bitches in there, need those. And there's crackheads trying to sneak on the 4 train, even in a fucking apocalypse, no free rides. But like I said, none of the cops know who this is, so they just look in that cap like, Who are you? Why should we take orders from you? So Cap turns around and is like, alright, let me show y'all real quick why you should. Smacks one away, blocks two attacks, right hook, and then turns back around. To then smack this Shatari into a block and cuts bro's arm off, bopping him away. Look at the stance he's holding too, refusing to make eye contact. You know he feeling himself crazy after that. The thing is though, it worked. Hey, y'all heard the man, kids getting sturdy, bad bitches in Macy's, and make sure y'all stop those crackheads. So we've now seen what Thor, Steve, Natasha, and Clint have been doing, but Iron Man and Hulk are still a mystery. Well, until Damn. now, because we see Tony turn the corner facing the Shatari ship head on shooting missiles at it, but none of them have any effect. All that caused was for the ship to turn around and start chasing him. Bro saw what was coming towards him and said, oh nah, I'm out of here. I thought Iron Man was about to put in pain, but nah, it's okay though because Hawkeye continues to get to work. Tripping the Shatari and a stab to the chest as Black Widow mounts one and turns his brain into pudding while Clint gets tackled. Damn. But hold on bruh. Mounts one and turns his brain into pudding while Clint. Oh, I, I, oh gang. Oh, that's, this is not a good position to be in, bro. Gets tackled. But hold on, bruh. Rewind the tape. Did y'all see that tackling form? Bro is working for the wrong Raiders. <laughs> Natasha starts using her weapons against them. Look at the clean spin move into a shot as Hawkeye kills the linebacker that tackled his ass to the ground. But their teammates are evil because how you gonna leave the two C-tier Avengers to deal with this whole army by themselves? They're getting overwhelmed. That is until the big dogs pull up to strip these bench warmers of their screen time. Cap comes in knocking two of them out, fuck off, gut check, as Thor comes in taking care of the remaining three, showing these scrubs how it's really done. 
if there's one thing Cap and Thor know how to do, it's how to make an entrance for sure. But Absolutely. as you can see from the way Thor is getting up like he got arthritis, that stab from Loki is clearly having an effect on him. Dog, you straight? Yeah, I just got stabbed by this giant sword. Damn, for real? Yeah, you wouldn't have survived it. That nigga capping. So Steve starts to lay out the game plan, and that's when Bruce finally decides to show up to help out, and in the most badass way, too. My fault, guys. Looks like y'all need my green friend. You know, I need that big guy. Bruce looking at her like... Bruce don't... Stop, bro. Stop. Stop. Don't do it. She fed a whole MCU. As they're discussing how Black Widow has been passed around like a harlot. You're sick. You're sick for saying this. Bruce, don't do it. She fed a whole MCU. As they're discussing how Black Widow has been passed around like a Harlem Globetrotters basketball, Tony turns the corner with the Shatari ship hot on his heels. That ship is really big as hell and making some very tight turns. Whoever is driving that is really whipping that hoe. Could give Dom Toretto a run for his money. Bruce starts walking. Boy, when I talk about this, of how they nerfed Hulk. Hulk was out there like destructing shit, bro. What he, what Hulk did to that nigga Loki by itself, the nigga was just stunned by like like this and shit, all feeble and stuff like that on the ground. After this, that he got smashed like ten times in in a row, just back and forth, just what down, what down, what down, what down, what down, and then you know, just to go ahead and get bitched by Thanos. <laughs> Man, Th Thanos, Thanos turned that nigga Hulk into a little slut. Like, man, I, that whole level of how they nerfed Hulk in the MC universe needs to be studied. That, oh God, they made him into Professor Hulk. Like, that nigga didn't even do shit besides sign autographs. Like, what the fuck, bro? And like, that nigga, that nigga had all that gamma radiation, did not smash shit, bro. Get him into the mix. You get bitched by Thanos one time and don't want to come out again until it is, and now you turn into a fucking pacifist. What? Okay. All right, bro. Walking up on the ship, and Cap is like, we don't need your weak ass. Get angry. I'm always angry. Turning into the Hulk and punching the Shatari ship square in its face. But y'all gotta remember, this is before Bruce became the Unincredible Hulk, so that punch was so strong it caused the entire ship to flip over, causing Iron Man to have to shoot at it with missiles so it doesn't crush his teammates. There's a reason Thanos fat ass had to get up and do it himself. The nah, Avengers fat, were really on time. The Shatari are everywhere, all on the walls. This one taking off his mask and, hey, yo, what the fuck? Yo, please put that shit back on. This boy is chopped. But this is when it happens. The moment that had 10 year old me and you in the theater geeking. The cameraman and no. showing the core six of the Avengers getting ready to bust some ass. But Loki saw this and you know what he did. He got to Hayden. Look at his face. He's disgusted. Went as far as to even call in more Shatari backup to ruin this moment. The Avengers were already tired and they just got the difficulty upped on them. God, please stop giving us your toughest battles. I just wanted to point out how Tony deferred to the GOAT, Steve Rogers. He knows who the big dog is. Hawkeye, I need you on top of those buildings providing cover fire. You miss any shots, your weak ass off the squad. We're recruiting Wolverine. Tony, you got the perimeter. Don't let them get out of Manhattan. If they get in that water, the toxic chemicals might give them a mutation, and that makes our life harder. Thor, you got lightning powers and use that shit like once. Get to spamming. Plug up that portal. Natasha, all you got is kung fu and two starter pistols. Stay on the ground and help me box them up. And Hulk, nah, starter pistols. smash. So now that everybody got their assignments like they back in school, they start executing. Hulk jumps up, smashing this guy, and continues to give New York City residents new windows in their apartments that they did not ask for. Jumping over to the other building, one-shotting Bro right here, and grabbing another Shatari, throwing him through the window. Hulk is then able to read the Shatari army's moves like a book, with mostly pictures. Jumping up in the middle of the Shatari fleet, slapping them off their course, and while Hulk is walling, Thor goes on top of the Chrysler building to do his that was the last time we saw the Hulk actually do what it is that he's supposed to be doing, bro. And, man, oh, this is disgusting. Drop, summoning lightning using Mjolnir, aiming it at the portal, and just starts eviscerating anything that's trying to come through. Why didn't bro do this before? Is he not aware of the fact that he's OP? We then switch over to the tag team duo oh, of the I'll world, Hawkeye and Iron Twitter. Man. Hawkeye's on top of the building, putting in work, hitting them with the hee-hee. <laughs> 
Hey! Magic Johnson, no look shot, all that. Hey, I saw that Clint, you still not catching more playing time though. Iron Man then calls out to Hawkeye for help because he's embarrassingly being chased by a swarm of Shatari. No wonder Ultron was talking crazy all movie. He saw the footage of y'all being turned into track stars by CPU enemies. Had bro thinking y'all was food. Hawkeye lines up his shot, not even actually looking, and perfectly hits the aircraft, yeah, making it spiral okay. out of control, crashing into the two buildings. As Iron Man hits a step back, blasting bro right here, and then just dips out again. But this right here lets me know that the Shatari are just like us for real. Look at him, smacking the overpass on his way in. Nine in every ten door frames will be smacked as I'm entering a room. Iron Man comes out the tunnel, stopping on a dime, causing them to crash into the building. So realizing that these aircrafts have the turning of Shaquille O'Neal, he enters another tunnel, causing for them to blow up trying to fit through the tight space. So after seeing every building literally getting boomed, naturally the residents are fucking terrified. Between the villains of Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, The Avengers, I swear to God, New York is worse than Gotham at this point. Leave my city. You know what? You're not wrong. Besides Gotham, like, yeah, like that... New New York already has a lot of problems as it is, gang. And then y'all y'all superheroes and y'all villains want to come to my state and think it is it's okay to just have the last battle royales out in this bitch. Like, bro, you 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 make it you're not making it easy, bro. That's why I say I would have moved to upstate New York. I would have watched this shit on the news. <laughs> I would have watched this shit on ABC News and been just like, damn, you know. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. City <laughs> alone. How comes these aliens never randomly land and invade Idaho or something? They'd probably be so bored, they just go back. Hulk decides he'll calm down all the citizens by running through like a maniac, jumping out onto the Shatari's mouth, pulling it down. But because bro's brain is just straight TV static, he pulls the Shatari ship back into the building and nearly slices everyone in half. It's so funny to me, the Avengers will do some bullshit like this and then wanted to look at bro like he was tweaking when he asked them to sign the accords. Black Widow weaves out the way, yeah. grabbing the Shatari, melting his peanut-sized brain and shooting him with his own gun. Shorty been fighting for like 13 hours straight, she got PTSD, almost committed friendly fire on her mans. No ceiling fans for her, she'll dead start blasting it thinking it's a helicopter. I took out like three of them. Yeah, I could tell based on the 113 of them that are left. Captain America decides to just send her on a side mission to get the Tesseract, using his shield to give her that LeBron James vertical hitching a ride from the Shatari. Natasha's holding off for their life, trying to not get clipped by fall damage, so with CGI produced on the Game Boy in the background, she climbs up, cutting him loose and kicks bro off. And before the driver could put this bitch in autopilot to get back for his mans, Black Widow jumps on his back, using him as a steering wheel to get herself to Stark Tower where the Tesseract is at. While she's posted up on his back in the Spider-Man sitting pose, more of the Shatari start shooting at her, but Iron Man comes through blasting him and then bulldozes over two more, pulling up on Cap in his 1v50. As Cap crushes one, kicks another one away, and they do a tag team duo combo attack to eliminate the rest. We ended up seeing this frame again at another point later on, but that was under completely different circumstances. Tony was- Listen, 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 I'm gonna say this, bro. Tony Stark's had every right to go ahead and, and, and go at Bucky. I'm sorry. I don't care if Bucky was under mind control or not. The nigga killed his parents. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, Iron Man was just do, doing the service. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, nah, he gg my folks. He gg my people. Especially my mom. Like, I bet. Nigga gotta die. Emotional ass nigga. But this is understandable, though. This is understandable. That, that, nigga, that nigga's parents got GG'd. So... Somebody gonna have to get got. So I, I I feel him on that. Cap a hater though. He's a hater. He knew that his friend Bucky was underneath that mind control. And I get it. He was trying to get at him first before it is like other people was. But it wasn't even just Iron Man. It was it was a uh, 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 Black Panther too. It was Black Panther too that was giving him that word. Maybe they would have survived. That's was getting his ass jumped because his parents got murdered and he was mad about it. Iron Man dips out shooting one and just throwing three more of the Shatari off the building as Hawkeye domes bro right here. Weave. Weave. Hawkeye peeps three of the Shatari heading over to MSG to go teach Julius Randall a good jump shot for him. But Hawkeye being a Nets fan, he can't have all that. Sniping them out the air, making them crash into their own yeah. ship. As the cameraman pans to another tag team duo occurring in Hulk and Thor, the two strongest and dumbest Avengers. Absolutely no technique, no dodging, no game plan with their attacks, just straight brute strength to destroy shit. Oh 
That is until Hulk rips off a piece of the Shatari ship, stabbing it for Thor to then use his lightning, causing for the entire thing to just short circuit and crash right smack in the middle of Grand Central Terminal. Yeah, that Grand Even Central though they just work together, Hulk is still pissed at Thor for embarrassing him in front of the rest of the squad in that counting competition, getting all the way to six. So you know he had to get his get back real quick. Absolutely. After like five hours of straight terror, the army finally decides to show up and it couldn't be in any more perfect timing because there's a giant hostage situation going on and bro's got a bomb. Cap knows this isn't something he could leave for regular humans to solve though. All of the poor victims in there will be turned into ground beef if he doesn't handle it himself. So he kills the Shatari and dips out to go save the hostages. They're on like the fifth floor but somehow he just jumps through the window and beams bro who was holding the C4. He manages to duck out the way of their shots as the bomb is ticking so he knows he's on a time crunch. Kicking the table at them, knocking them off their feet as he runs over and starts piecing bro up to then just throw his ass off the balcony. The other one comes from behind and starts choking Steve trying to rip his mask off. He's getting back for his mans who Steve beamed in the face earlier. That hit knocked the helmet off this man and fuck yo, it's clear he ain't got a cut in weeks. But that shit backfired because my son Cap was not finna be caught lacking his shit crisp. But Dumb and Dumber over here just end up doing all the work for Captain America cause bro starts blasting and Steve just uses his own friend as a shield. At this point the bomb is only a couple seconds away from detonating and they both know that so the Shatari picks it up and throws it as Steve hits his clean move to block it and get his ribs looking like Spongebob's fingers. My only question is how big was that explosion cause did he really save them right there or did they get done like the Saiyans? Black Widow still using bro right here as a steering wheel and he's oh just God. letting her, not even trying to fight back. Bro thinks he's slick, we know you just like having her on you with your freak ass. Loki's on her ass though trying to stop her from getting to the test rack, of course he's picking on somebody with his own power level. She then calls out to Hawkeye for help who's camping. You, nah, that, nah, that stray was correct. <laughs> Of course he's picking on somebody with his own power level. She then that calls out to Hawkeye for help crazy. who's camping on top and he lines up the shot and Loki thought he was so badass catching that arrow. Oh, got his ass. Getting his shit boomed landing on top of Stark Tower. And as if that wasn't embarrassing enough, as he's laid out on the ground, Hulk pulls up and decks him into the wall. Yeah, yeah. Shaking my head. This is what he gets for going after Hulk's thought. You never mess with a man's favorite eater. Hey, you... <laughs> I hate this, bro. I hate this, bro. Nigga, it's the man's favorite eater. You know what, bro? I'm... Yeah, okay. That's for going after Hulk's thought. You never mess with a man's favorite eater. Hey, you beast. I would never be defeated. Well, actually, Some I kind of began fucked up on the level. But at least I would never be disrespected. Well, actually, people kind of be talking to me all types of crazy. Hulk grabs bro and just starts ragdolling him, putting Loki shaped holes in the ground. You could tell by the look on his face, Hulk think he the shit, probably thinking to himself, Hulk destroy Loki puny muscles with big. Walking away, leaving Loki there frozen, he's too stunned to even move. Yep. Black Widow finally arrives to the Tesseract and I don't know how both her- Wish he did the same thing to Thanos, but you know. Her ACLs aren't torn from that high ass fall. D-Rose about to throw the bag at her to get those kneecaps. So she starts asking bro right here how to turn off the machine and Me while glad. she's doing that we see Thor taking care of more Shatari goons. As another ship just slices the entire building in half in an attempt to eat Thor. I really just can't get over the fact of how much damage is being done to the city right now. The crazy part is these motherfuckers would have probably still sent us to school the next day. So Iron Man pulls up with some weak ass lasers but at this point he's pretty aware of the fact that it's <laughs> no, no, kind of impenetrable from the outside. That's that's so he uses his thigh missiles to fly through that's the mouth of the Shatari ship, blowing it up from the inside. I guess he didn't consider the harm it do to himself or didn't care because the explosion got him looking like a Metro Boomin album cover, going crashing into the bus station, the taxi, and then eating straight dirt. And they didn't even give bro a chance, the second he tried to stand up they just blasted him right back down to the ground. While Tony's on his way to being stripped down and turned into a laptop, Hawkeye uses his last arrow so yeah, he just smacks Bro across the face and Spartan kicks him off the building. But when he turns around, he sees that an entire Shatari fleet is coming right after him. Clearly the Shatari leader didn't do his scouting beforehand, you don't need to send that many for Hawkeye bruh. They start shooting at him so with Nintendo 64 explosion graphics in the background, he jumps off the roof and while in midair is able to turn around and shoot a grappling arrow at the building to swing inside and survive. 
So that's Iron Man, Captain America, and now Hawkeye, who's basically out for the count. They were very low on fumes. But Hulk, he's still putting in that work, sucking these boys. I knew I could always count on him. Strongest in the Avengers for a reason. Hello, motherfucker. What the fuck? They start yeah. emptying the bag into bro, and I'm sitting here thinking, well, at least they gonna have to reload at some point, but they just keep spraying, it doesn't stop. Shield headquarters, we're getting shit on out there. Yeah, y'all are. What's the game plan, boss? Who's still okay to fight? Thor and Black Widow seem to be fine, boss. Oh, I bet. Thor's straight. Okay, we might be good. And Black Widow, boss. Nigga, stop telling me about shit that don't matter. So while Nick Fury is trying to explain to SHIELD headquarters that Natasha is not a needle mover, the Shatari are telling Iron Man to fight back. Straight cooking this man. Tony at this point has specialized the art of being jumped. He manages to blast three of them and dip out of there. And while he's in the middle of healing from that straight ass whooping he was catching, we see Thor and Captain America fighting for their lives, swinging straight haymakers as Cap gets shot right in his 18 pack. Steve's on the ground where he's straight food, can't defend himself, so they start blasting at him, but Thor has his back, using the car as a bowling ball to get a strike on all the horde of enemies. Thor then walks over to help Steve's old ass up. You straight? Yeah, I'm good. I eat those, nigga. And out of everybody in the Avengers, it's Natasha, who with the help of this old dude, figures out how to close the portal and stop the Shatari army. But the World Council already decided that New York City was beyond saving at this point. First the accents, now the army of aliens. It was time for the whole place as a whole to just go, shooting off a nuke to delete it off the server. Tony, they hating and about a nuke us because we make the best drill music. Grok, grok, boom. Yeah, I'm seeing it right here. This is yeah. a lot of hope. So Iron Man, being the goat that he is, puts the missile on his back, redirecting it through the city and out through the portal. To all the people who the thought it was grits and started admitting now thinking about it, the government was some haters, bro. You mean to tell me it is that like, because you thought the niggas was losing during mid battle, they just, just to, to drop a nuke? Oh yeah, y'all was hating for sure. Shit to their loved ones, it just got mad awkward. Tony takes it into space where it blows up all their ops and Iron Man passes out. The Avengers are just watching him barreling down to certain doom and it's Hulk who jumps up and catches him bringing him down to safety. He's on the ground and he's just unresponsive so the Avengers are standing over him just thinking to themselves whether they're gonna wear the Balenciaga or the Dior suit for this funeral which they were clearly able to decide on in Endgame. But Hulk screams in his face and his breath was so bad it brought Tony back to life. And everything is okay except for the millions of innocent people that died and everybody who's homeless now. That, that, oh my gosh, yo, Blank Boy is freaking hilarious, bro. Blank Boy had no business being this hilarious within his videos. Oh, we're gonna have to we gonna have to react to more of his vids. But hey, listen, 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 listen. Blank Boy, shout outs to you. Oh god, that was hilarious. Shout outs to him. Shout outs to y'all in the chat. And shout outs to you at home. I will catch y'all in the next video.